Hello, it's a beautiful day. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa, and I am your friend. Over the past period of time, I've created over 10 online courses, and people keep asking me, where are your courses? What type of courses do you have? Which platforms have you published your courses on? And today, I'm going to do a video to take you from A to Z to show you how to create your online course. The first thing I want to ask you is, why do you want to create an online course? And there are different reasons why people create online courses. So maybe you are an economics lecturer, or you are teaching accounting or social studies, or whatever skill that you have, and you are a lecturer, you can put an online course in that particular subject and upload it for other people to see. You can also just do online courses because you want to create some extra amount of money for yourself. So you create courses so that people, once people buy, you make some extra bucks. There are a lot of reasons. And some also just want to share their knowledge, their experience of the world. So maybe you know how to do fashion designing. You know how to do social media marketing. You may even know how to design logos. You can put a course so that once someone sees your online course, the person can sit at home and also watch your videos and create whatever logos they want. And that is what we want. So here, your reason of creating an online course is to make money, is to share your knowledge or experience, is to even reach out to different students or different people around the world, then this video is yours. And let's go to number two. Choose your niche. You need to choose your niche because it's important. Your niche will help you stand out in your online course uh, journey. So if you have an online course that's talking about even how to create an online course, you can create an online course about that. You can create an online course about marketing, leadership, whatever industry that you want to, but then you need to niche it down. Know the type of niche you are going to create for yourself and know how to market your niche. And choosing your niche will help you to know how the industry is performing. So if I want to do social media marketing, it's very easy because there are a lot of people who are looking for that particular course. If I can do a course about how to create an online a website, that's great, how to create a webinar. But all this will come back to what? A good niche. So you need to do your researches, you need to ask questions about the industry that you are in, and sometimes go to other people's courses and see how they are performing. So if you go onto Udemy, you see if you want to do like accounting course, how to create YouTube channel, YouTube marketing, social media marketing, type that in on Udemy, and you may see how your other competitors are performing. If it is good for you, go in for it, but then, Choose a niche that you have experience in. Because if I should be talking about health-related issues, it may not go on well. But if I'm talking about public speaking, how to create online courses, how to do uh, affiliate marketing, I have experiences in that. And I can talk about that the whole day. So choose a niche that you can talk about things. Choose a niche that people can easily relate to you and follow you on that particular score. And that's it. So number two, you need to uh, choose your niche. Then the third thing you need to do when you are creating your online course is to create your outline. So know how to create your outline. What is your outline? So you pick, for example, I want to do a course about public speaking. So my outline could be, number one, how to build your confidence. Number two, how to work on stage. Number three, how to practice. Number four, Believe in yourself. So that is my outline. So you need to put your outline down. So that's what you're going to talk about. So number one, I'm going to talk about how to believe in yourself. Number two, vision. Number three, so just put an outline down and you follow it through. So that once someone gets into your course and they see, okay, this is number 1.1, I'm going to talk about this so that they can follow in a logical order. Most people don't do this. They just go ahead and just crumble the whole course, and you may not get audience traction. And people may not, who even buy your course may not like your course because there's no order to it. So you need to create a, create a course outline. 
after creating a niche and knowing your subject and whatever you want to talk about, you need to create a course outline. That will help you create your online course. Then after creating the outline, is to create your content. It's very simple to create your content. And uh, the next chapter will talk about how you can be able to record your videos. But creating your content is key because the content is what is important in the course. We talk about how to create your course outline. That is great, but then your content is more important. Your content is why people are coming, coming to listen or watch your course. So you need to create content that will connect with your audience. So you need to do researches, you need to sometimes, you need to even buy other people's courses to see what they are talking about. And once you see that, you can be able to gather your content, go online or your experiences. And once you gather that ready, you are ready to go and your course may be live. So learn to create your own content, there are different ways you can create your own content. You can even read blog articles. You can read whatever to gather content. Go online, go on YouTube, take your time, jot, journal, journal, like write. Be able to gather content that will help you um, help your course. Then the next thing we want to talk about is how to record your videos. There are a lot of ways that you can record your videos. And a lot of people ask me questions like, how do you record your videos? And all my courses, there are different ways and different formats I use. My first course on Udemy, if you check on Udemy, you will see that I use slides and audio. So I just use slides, PowerPoint slides. I was talking to the audio and I didn't show my face. At the end of the day, I uploaded that course on what Udemy. And believe you me, that's my highest, the course I sold more than any other course. So I just talked and recorded that and uploaded that on Udemy. I was afraid, even though the, that was my first course, I was afraid, I just did it. So you can equally choose to do that. Record your voice, put in slides, and upload it. The second way you can upload your course is talk directly to the camera and uh, create content. You are talking, you are sharing your ideas, and once you, do, you are done, that's it. You can record yourself, video, format. And also you can do video and slides. So you can do video and slides. You are talking, talking head, and you have slides. So like you separate your camera into two, right? You record and also show slides. So as I'm speaking, you see some slides in some corner showing. So you can equally do that, it's allowed. Some people also just do slides, like I told you. You can do slides. Some people also do screen recording. So if you want to do like technical things, like social media marketing, how to design websites, you may not talk the whole video for people to understand. You need to incorporate it from your screen. And that is also allowed. There are courses I also have personally and I recorded from my screen. So you are showing your screen, go to google.com, you show it, go to this, you show it, and you can do that. So there are different ways that you can do this. And based on the type of course that you want to create, may also give you that traction. Then you need to also know that there are softwares to help you. So maybe if you want to record from your screen, you can just use OBS Studio, which is simple for you to record. And uh, you are easy to, it's easy to go. You can use a camera to record yourself. You can even use your phone. There are some of my courses I use my phone to record myself. And uh, use what you have to record what you want. Please, if you don't have a camera, you can still go away. If you have the right lighting, the right background, you can still use your phone and just make sure that the audio is loud so that people don't get bored and all those stuff. So you can equally do that to do your videos. So now let's talk about platforms to host your courses. There are a lot of platforms, over 100, or 200 or even 500 platforms. Platform owners also write to me, Zlearn and Co, uh, Teachable, they, they all write to me that they want to see my courses on their platforms. So there are a lot of platforms you can choose from, but let me just give you this advice. If you want to create a brand out of courses, whereby you are maybe you tell people that you have online courses and you have 1,000 or 10,000 students, you can post that on Udemy. 
right? You can just post that on Udemy. You can also do half of your course on Udemy and direct your audience to your own website, whereby they can pay more. The challenge of Udemy is that, you see, most of the courses on Udemy, 12.99, 16.99, the highest you will see, that we have courses on Udemy that's more than even $200, I believe. But then people don't buy $100 courses on Udemy. That's the truth. You may sell one, two, but they just want $66.99, 99 point, and that's order. So if you want to sell a high ticket course, maybe let's say even $500, you may not have competition in what Udemy doing that. And the students are used to $12.99, so you may not make a lot of money on Udemy. But then you, if you want to create a brand like I do, I have courses on Udemy, over five courses on Udemy. And some, some of them are even free. And some 12.99, 16.99, just because I want to create that brand there. Then I also have courses on Gumroad, whereby I charge like $160, $400, $500. I have them on Gum, Gumroad. So you can also equally do that. Have platforms that you can charge higher, and you take control of that. Some people do Teachable. You can host your course, courses on teachable.com. I have a course on Teachable, but like I don't like that platform. I've not even made a sale there. It's just there. The course is just there, but I'm not even visiting there. So know your platforms and know which one suits you. You can equally just design your own website and host your courses there. This is what I have to talk to you about platforms. And also the final thing I want to talk about is how to promote and sell your online courses. Yes, the easy way to do that is what you can do ads, social media, marketing, where you do ads, you promote your courses and boom, you go viral and people buy. You can also use email marketing, whereby you use a cheat sheet or something for leads and do email marketing, whereby once they collect, maybe you are selling a book, once they download free book, then you get their emails and send them your courses. Or you can show them half of your courses, and also once they get into your email list, you keep on selling them or sending the course to them, and some of them will buy. You can also use Pinterest. Pinterest is one of the best platforms I use for all my things. For YouTube videos, affiliate marketing, I use Pinterest. Because there, it's easy to market. And it's like, Pinterest is one of the platforms that they encourage you to share your website. If you are going to do any marketing and you don't share your website, you may not be able to post on Pinterest. So based on this, a lot of people just go on to Pinterest to buy. And there are a lot of users on Pinterest. So I just share my links on Pinterest, keep sharing, and people come and they buy from me. So you can equally use Pinterest, single it out from social media marketing, and also use that to market. You can also use YouTube. YouTube is also a great platform whereby people come to see and uh, watch videos. So if you are looking at me now, and I have a course on how to create courses online, definitely you may be able to reach out and also benefit from that course. So my name is Ibrahim Mustafa. This is how you create your online course. There are a lot of ways, maybe if you don't understand any, just send me a message, I will take you through. But I believe in you, and I want to see you succeed in your next course. If you are finding it difficult to record your courses, I'm here to help you. Thank you very much. I believe in you. I believe in the power of your dreams.